Bravo 5 is in hot. Jesse, break left. Roger that. This is the first post process I've had where the full thing felt integrated. It was so crucial in helping devotion sort of land where it needed to be. Camera and action. I'm JD Dillard, and I am the director of Devotion. Devotion tells the story of Jesse Brown, the U.S. Navy's first black aviator, and the friendship that formed between him and his wingman, Tom Hudner, uh, at the onset of the Korean War. Try to keep up. In looking at the different editing systems that I can use, Adobe Premiere fit in perfectly. Devotion was a multi-location collaboration. I was in Los Angeles, JD was in another location. One assistant was somewhere else and one assistant was somewhere else. And so we used the Premiere production panel. So Premiere Productions is a collection of projects and we can see who's in what and you're able to lock and release things. The Premiere production project was being managed by Lucidlink. Lucidlink is a cloud hard drive essentially and and it mounts on the computer and it looks very similar to an external drive. Premiere and Lucid were as efficient as if we were sitting next to each other in the same facility. I love the post process. Premiere is the first NLE that I taught myself how to use. And to be able to bring just what little understanding I had to their expertise was just unbelievable. Adobe Premiere fits quite logically in regards to how I think. The workflow of how I process through dailies and how it cuts and certain advantages on visual effects, certain advantages with color correction, and also particularly sound. And I get the sound feel like you're in a real environment. Then I go back into editing. Each time we took this film to testing, it was simply a Premiere export. And that sort of flexibility is great and also a little seductive. <laughs> there we go, Ace! So Frame.io was used during production to let all of production see their footage, action. see everything they shot in HDR, which would let them actually have a good representation of what they were actually shooting. Our video assist didn't have all 450 hours of aerial dailies. And there's this odd part in the post process where a lot of directors feel sort of like cut off but using Frame, this is the first time, just in terms of like dailies and management, that I felt like I was involved. You're shooting a scene, the sort of related portion of that scene was shot a week ago, and you have an app on the phone. And to be able to just bring things up quickly and contextually, it became way more crucial for consistency. And that I don't think we could have done without Frame. And the ease in which I could at any moment safely bring up the movie. <laughs> To be able to travel with a movie like that is now so important to me. Can't tell you how many times people have told me to give up, quit. That's why you can't always do what you're told. We ultimately come up with all these workflows and we come up with all these systems. It's all in service of the editor can support the director in telling the best possible story he can tell. The ability to like make the movie feel real as quickly as possible and any tool that helps you communicate fully and quickly, like the Adobe Creative Suite, ends up being priceless. <laughs> what I kind of need from here on out is, is that flexibility, which is kind of nice when you're directing the movie. <laughs>